In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up Amethyst and some of the prerequisites, the other software you might need to install before setting it up. Bear in mind that the details might change as new versions of Amethyst are released or new versions of Adobe Flash or Flex. Go to the Amethyst installation guide page on the Sapphire Steel software website for more up-to-date information. The first thing you will need is Visual Studio. If you haven't got a commercial edition already installed, you can download a free Visual Studio shell from Microsoft. The shell is going to be a one language version of Visual Studio. It'll support uh, Flash and ActionScript development via Amethyst, but it won't support the normal Visual Studio languages such as C Sharp and Visual Basic. If you have a commercial version of Visual Studio 2008 or 2010, you don't need to install the shell. Now, if you plan to do any Flex development, you'll need to download Adobe's Flex framework. And one of the requirements for that is to have the Java runtime. So make sure that you've got that installed. You might already have it installed. If not, now is the time to do so. And once you've installed the Java runtime, you're then ready to go onto the Adobe site to download the Flex framework. You'll be asked to uh, select a couple of answers to questions, and then you can download it. It's a big download, so it might take a little while if you're on a slow, slow connection. Now, if you're doing visual development with Flex, uh, you absolutely must have the SDK installed. If you're just a Flash IDE developer, you're only going to be doing development using Flash CS5, CS4, or a later version, and sharing those projects with Amethyst, then you might not need Flex. But anyway, for now, I'm showing you that I've installed it Flex, I'm unzipping it using the Windows unzipping tool. This is quite slow. If you've got a third party unzipper, it's going to work a lot faster than this. I'm moving my Flex SDK directory to the top level directory because I don't want it in the downloads directory, and Amethyst should be able to auto locate it in some more obvious location. And now I'm ready to download the Windows uh, Flash player, the debug version for Internet Explorer. You'll need that even if you don't plan debugging in Internet Explorer. Amethyst requires it for its own tools. So again, I'm just going through the installation. This is Adobe's installer. Very straightforward. Um, if you need to debug in another Netscape compatible browser, then you'll need to debug a separate Flash player for that. Once you've done all that, you're ready to download Amethyst itself. So you go onto the Sapphire Steel Software's website, download the zip file, and get ready to install it. So here I've got my Amethyst zip file downloaded. I'm extracting the files again. And once they're extracted, I just run setup.exe. That loads up a few dialog boxes to get the install installation wizard running. Click Next. I agree to the license, accept the default location, and away it goes. So it's a, just a very simple installer, but you must have a version of Visual Studio installed by this point. At the end, you can either buy now or continue the trial. I'll just continue the trial. That unlocks the, the full uh, features of Amethyst for a test period. Now I load it up, file new, I create a new project, um, scroll down to the Amethyst section. For now, I'll just create a Flex 4.5 project. That's the SDK that I've installed. There are other project types, depending on what sort of applications you're developing, of course. When that starts up, I will get the editor. And in the Solution Explorer, you can see that I've already got a, a simple application created. I've turned to the designer. I can drag and drop controls onto the designer, double click them to create event handlers. And I'm ready to start coding. So simple alert. You see the IntelliSense is firing away. So I just put alert dot show hello world, and I'm ready to debug. So I click to put a breakpoint in the margin, click the debug thing. I don't want this prompt. Do I want to build every time? So I check the box there, and that won't prompt me again in future when I start a debugging session. Um, and that's it. I'm re ready to run. I click the button, hit the breakpoint, and now I'm using the debugger. So Amethyst is all fully installed at this point, and I'm ready to do. Uh, whatever sorts of projects I wish 
this happens to be a flex project it could be one that's shared with the flash ide if that's what you're doing you might want to configure amethyst that's tools options projects and solutions amethyst for example if it didn't find the flex sdk or you want to install a second flex sdk a different version you can go into the properties uh, the global properties here to, to pick to browse for or to add a, a new sdk you might also want to go into the text editor options. Here you can set formatting options, indentation, and so on. We have separate tutorials on all these things on the Sapphire Steel Software website. So if you need more guidance on these specific features, be sure to log on to www.sapphiresteel.com. So that, in essence, is how to get up and running with an installation of Amethyst.